The Bruins survived Game 7 and down Toronto 5-1 to here at home. I'm Megan Adelini here at TD Garden, joined by Herald Sports Editor Justin Pelletier. So, first of all, Justin, the unlikely heroes of this game. It started off with Joakim Nordstrom. We spoke with him and a couple of these other guys after the game on their goals. Here's what they had to say. Game sevens, it feels like anything can happen. You know, you never know. There's a few bounces go, go your way or the other way, and, and, you know, it could be game over. I think everyone uh, throughout the lineup uh, stepped up and had a really, really good game. I thought uh, we played... Uh, we played our best game of this series tonight. So Justin, from your perspective, just how important was that fourth line and some of these other guys who really came up in this game? Well, the third and fourth lines were, were huge for the Bruins in this game. I mean, you saw you saw Joachim Nordstrom score. Uh, you saw Sean Corrali score. You saw Marcus Johansson score. These are guys that hadn't really gotten it going yet in this series. They really hadn't shown what they could do on the ice uh, in terms of their scoring depth. And all of a sudden, tonight, they went and, and scored uh, the, the, the three biggest goals of this game, those first three, uh, to make it, uh, to make it uh, an insurmountable lead for the Bruins in this one. Depth has always been a key for this Bruins team, and, and that showed certainly tonight. So Tuka Rask, love Tuka, hate Tuka. He had an amazing game tonight, 32 of 33. I mean, that save percentage is unreal. What was your takeaway with him? Well, with Tuka tonight, the biggest thing was that he didn't allow the Toronto Maple Leafs to get back into the game after the Bruins took a bigger lead. Uh, the Bruins took a 2-0 lead. They gave up one to make it 2-1. And then Tuka Rask, after the Bruins made it 3-1, shut the door from there and really didn't allow the Maple Leafs to get any momentum back there and, and didn't allow any softies. I think that's the, that's the biggest one. After that first one, everybody kind of knows that Tuka is good for one softie a game. Uh, he got that one out of the way early today, and he, he didn't allow any more after that. Especially in that second period, it really looked like the Bruins were going down for a nap for a long stretch there. So looking towards the next round, now that the Bruins are moving on, what concerns do you have about this team? Well, I think the biggest concern coming out of this game today is the fact that uh, all the scoring, save for that last uh, touch-in goal by Patrice Bergeron, came from outside of the top six. Uh, the biggest thing going forward is going to have to be uh, David Pasternak has to get going. This whole series, he was uh, he had one good game this series, I think, uh, in, in, a, in a series against the Blue Jackets. David Pasternak's going to have to get going. He's going to have to, get, and, and Brad Marchand uh, is going to have to get going. Uh, David Krejci is going to have to get going. This this uh, bottom four or bottom six forward scoring is great, and it, it's fantastic for depth. But the uh, the top really needs to get going, and Tuukka needs to stay solid. Uh, maybe one soft goal here and there, but uh, he's got to stay solid. Why do you think that that top line has not been performing to their usual caliber? Well, you know, it, it, for a lot of these teams and a lot of these, these uh, they send their top units out to uh, play against these guys. Uh, and now you're talking about the 16 best teams in the league. There's no more playing against the, the bottom feeders, right? So everybody's top shutdown line is a good top shutdown line. And it's hard to have to go against those guys night in, night out all the time, especially when you don't have last change, which three out of the four games in this uh, series, you didn't have last change. So you, uh, Toronto was getting the matchup they wanted against those guys. Well, Bruin season, not over yet. Yeah. They survive another round. Justin, thank you so much for joining me here ringside.